look at that. Whoa, look at that, assistant. Isn't that cool? They kind of look like fish eggs. They do. They look a lot like it. So this is actually a fun thing that you could do on Halloween even. Today we're going to do three science experiments. That's right, assistant. So the first one's called what? Mystery bubble. Mystery bubbles, right? So you right. show us what you have. So I have this bubble solution here. Uh-huh. This thing of water and the thing that makes the bubbles. That's right. And I'm going to add, what is it? Dry ice. Dry ice is actually frozen carbon dioxide, right? All right, so let me see. I don't want to drop these. Oh, I dropped that. Let's see. You really can't touch them with your hand. You can pick that up with your glove. All right. So you have to have a glove on to touch dry ice, right? Right. All right, so now you've got it. The dry ice is melting and it's producing carbon dioxide. See, now it's on the mat. Whoa, look at that. So sometimes when you're watching movies and there's like smoke and stuff coming out. It could be this. It could be just dry ice and water, right? Right, I'm trying to see how many I can do. See? Look at how many bubbles. Can I touch one? Let's see what happens. No, then the whole thing will pop. All right, people, do you think all of them will pop or just one of them will pop? Wait, let me put one more. All right, so she's gonna put one more. So these are our dry ice bubbles. All right, I'm gonna pop one. Oh, oh. just one pops. Pop, 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 pop. And look, I can put this inside of it and it adds more fog. Whoa, that's right. So what happens, assistant, is the dry ice here, it starts to release the carbon dioxide, which goes in here, and it goes through this tube and out right there. Whoa. And then you put it in the bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can make a snowman. Ooh. No, I can't. Maybe I'm laying down one. All right, this is a, can you drop one in the air and try to catch it? Whoa, one more time. Oh, you dropped it. I'm seeing how big it can get. You guys see how big it can get? Whoa. Oh, I missed it when it popped. I wasn't ready for it to drop. You weren't ready for it to drop. Oh. So it's kind of hard to find dry ice. It took us a while to find some. And this is a Steve Spangler uh, bubble kit that we're using. And it comes with um, this uh, soap. It smells a little bit like... Bubble gum. Yeah, it smells pretty good, actually. Well, look, it looks like it's like ice on top of it. Oh! Okay, so I'm gonna put one down and then I can go up, oh, man. Okay, so I can go on top of it like that and it like rolls on it. Now, assistant. Oh yeah, look at that. She's making like art with, a, with these bubbles, right? I just took a bubble out of it. See, look, ready? Whoa. Well, see, if I drop it from this high, it will still land. Oh. All right, assistant. So you can make more carbon dioxide come out by adding what? More dry ice. More dry ice. Or if the water's warmer, it makes the dry ice melt quicker, right? Right. So take the top off and I'm gonna add some more. Ready? Ready? I hope you dropped some. You dropped a lot. That's okay. It looks like a cauldron. Look at all of it coming out. Ready? More. Whoa. Look at it all, is it? Look at the bottom of it. Look now if I try Whoa, to look. Yeah. Look at this. It's going Whoa. crazy. That's right. Let's see how big bubble the bubbles will get. It might even be hard to even make bubbles because it might. Whoa, look how fast they're going. And look how like foggy they are. Oh yeah. They're not even sticking on there. 
So this is carbon dioxide bubble. See, carbon. look, ready? How much? Look how much will come out. Whoa! Just a nice mist. Now, is the air coming out of there hot or cold? Cold, or more like room temperature. It's just kind of cool, right? Yeah. Are right, you gonna blow on it? <laughs> Ready? So, I'm gonna go like this. So we're gonna make a few more bubbles and then we're gonna go to our next science experiment, which is also really cool. Okay. So this one right here is making bubbles with carbon dioxide. I Enjoy. wonder what it'd be like if I just took off my glove. Now you can touch you can touch this with your hands. But not the dry ice. Yeah. Now this is this is carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Do you think carbon dioxide is heavier or lighter than the regular air? Lighter. No, it's, heavier. Just, it's heavier. That's why it drops down. See how it's going down? Yeah, it, just, it feels like a nice cold glass of water. Yeah, if it was if it was heavy if it was lighter than regular air, it would rise up like smoke. But since it's dropping down, that tells us that it's actually heavier <gasps> than the rest of the air. Alright, so you put the top back on and blow another bubble and we're gonna look at our next experiment. Alright, so you got your glove on. Go. See how many in a row? One. Uh, one. Oh. Hey, put it in there and just hold it in there. Oh, look, it's making a bubble. You're getting bubbles coming out of that. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Look at that. Is there just bubbles growing right out of the top? It looks like a nice, cool, like, drink, doesn't it? Oh, it does. And then pop, 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 pop. Put it back in there. Let's see what happens. Oh, pretty cool. What if I put it in here? Um, what will happen? I don't think it's gonna drop. You can try. Oh no, no, it won't. It won't. Bubbles won't come out. That's just because there's no soap in there, right? Yeah. Just wondering what would happen. And since the top is off, you're actually not getting any of the gas through the tube because it's actually just boiling out the top and not going through the tube. So by having this in, it forces it to go through this tube. Pretty neat. All right, on to the next experiment. Next experiment. The next one is an energy tube. All right, so watch. I'm gonna hold one side. Sissy holds Wait, the other. Wait, let me take off my gloves. So it's called an energy tube. Nothing. <laughs> now it, that... Whoa, only when she touches me, okay. All right, so you touch and see what happens. Now let me touch this side. Nothing. But when she touches me, it goes off. Now wait, let's see if I touch it. Oh, nothing, but watch if I touch the metal, and the metal, it goes off, because it uses your body as what? As a conductor. As a, con as a con carrier, a con yeah. A conductor, so it basically makes our bodies into wires, but only if we're touching each other. Since wait, wait, hold your other hand. Now, you touch my finger. <laughs> there you go. Wait, ready? It you just can also do it. Off your face. They just have to be a closed circuit, right? Yep, now, assistant, what do you think happens if I put it, my two shoes on it? All right, ready? Probably nothing. Here's my shoes, happen. put it between them. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, because they're made of rubber. And I rubber wonder what would happen if the dogs did it. I think it would work too. You should go find Wiggles and Waggles. <laughs> you think we should do that? Yeah. Maybe in a little bit. So this is uh, energy rod, so again, it uses your body as a wire. So one side, and off it goes. All right, are you ready for experiment number three? Yes, so we have these pretty normal glasses of, no, bottles of water. This is more like a glass of water, right? Yeah, so what do you think's inside of it? Is it just water? Looks like just water to me. Well, assistant, watch what happens when I try to pour some of this water out of it. Definitely, whoa! It's Orbeez are inside of it. Look at that. Whoa. There's Orbeez. Does that mean there's Orbeez in this one there's too? There's Orbeez in that. So what happens, assistant, since these are clear Orbeez, the water goes in between the Orbeez in spots called interstitials. And those interstitials, when they fill up, it makes it clear. Cool. That's right. So if we pour it back in, you'll see bubbles. You gotta do it very carefully or it'll spill everywhere. Put 
the lid back on? Whoa! There's like dry ice under it now. Oh, really? Uh, uh, here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Look. It freezes. It's kind of like. Under it. Oh, yeah. We're not melted. So there it is. See? So what am I going to do with this? All right, so let's see. So this has even more special properties in it. Do you want me to dump it out so it gets No! Oh, we're going to try this black light because I put something special in this one. You ready? Yep. We call this ghost eyeball. Tell me to put it, uh, so turn gonna, off the lights. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're going to shake it up. Shake it up. And it's got glow dust in it. So now you can see the Orbeez. And then watch this. I'm gonna, we're going to turn some lights off and look at that. Do you see it? You see the Orbeez with the glow dust on it? Now watch, I take it off and it's still gonna glow in the dark because of the UV light from the black light. Yep. So the glow dust interacts with the UV light and it shows us where all those Orbeez, let me turn it down maybe a little bit. It might make it easier to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, assistant. Isn't that cool? They kind of look like fish eggs. They do. They look a lot like it. So this is actually a fun thing that you could do on Halloween even. Look, let me see it. Okay. And look, it's still kind of glowing in the dark. I don't think they can see it because it's still kind of too light in here. Here, I can turn off more lights and we'll see what it looks like. Whoa, look at the dry eyes. Can they see the dry eyes? I wonder what happened if we like put a light at the bottom of it and then when we well make some of your bubbles so right now you got the lid I don't on have enough because you got the lid off remember so all the gas escaped from the top we put the lid back on still not a lot of it'll take it a second probably to build up you can definitely tell it's getting a little bit more foggy in there i can add a little bit more too all right so we're doing this now with our special light we're gonna throw a little bit more also, it's just, the water is getting colder, so that means it's going to put out less because it's not melting as quick, not drawing ice as fast. Yeah, the water is pretty cold. All right, ready? You make a bubble right here. Let's see what happens. It's not that foggy. Huh. All right. Ooh. I don't think it's just that foggy right now. The water might be too cold. I think you're right. Because, like, if we take off the lid, it's not really that much in there, and there's still a lot of dry ice at the bottom. Good point. Let's add some warmer water and see what happens, okay? Okay. Okay, so, okay, so, so we, what do we do? We change the water. Yeah, we made it a little warmer, and that's what gave us the, the good dry ice. Last bubbles. time. Yeah. yeah. And we tried our black light, and it actually didn't really do a whole lot, right? Because there's nothing for it to phosphoresce off of, so it just kind of. So since we did three experiments, we did the one with the uh, dry ice, we did our energy rod, and then we saw about interstitials, and then we learned about glowing in the dark with Orbeez, right? Right. I think the dry ice one was my favorite. The dry ice was your favorite? So we learned three different science concepts. All of them kind of involved chemistry, which I think is pretty fun. Ooh. I wonder what would happen if we put a dry ice with Orbeez. Well. You think we should try that? Sure. Well, guess what? I've got some Orbeez right here. The Orbeez are gonna like explode. You're gonna put them, I wouldn't put them inside of there. I'm just making it a butt little bubble. Oh, you're gonna put a bubble on top of it? All right, so she's gonna put a bubble on it, a dry ice bubble. Not really doing much. Wonder what happened if we just put a piece of dry ice right there. Hmm. Um, well, I think you'll get some. Well, here, I'll, I'll scoop some dry ice right into this cup. Of, okay, okay. This is only something a parent should do. So I got some more Arby's there. I'll put those in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're losing, uh -oh. Our, we're losing uh -oh. Arby's, sister. Down. All right, ready? 
So I got dry ice in this cup. You know how I know it's dry ice? Because it's, uh... Ta-da! That's a lot of dry ice. That was like one piece. I thought you were doing like one piece. All right. So the, Look, there's one Orby on top. The Orbeez are actually gonna start to melt the dry ice with the water inside of them, right? Thank you for a little too. Oh, they're, they're bouncy. They're like marbles almost. Are they? Boing. Are they uh, cold? A little bit. Wait, I have something. I have this. Okay, well, you probably don't even need to do that. You probably need to just. Oh, oh, they're going everywhere! They're cold. Look at this one. It has like pieces of ice on it. I see it. It melted in my hand though. <laughs> yeah. The Orbeez themselves are actually solid, so they actually won't freeze. Because they're already solid. They'll get really cold though. <gasps> there, I see like, look, right. blow into it in the camera. So here they are, ready? Oh, you see the ice I saw on top of the food? Orbeez? All right, so we'll take off some of the ice. Look at the Orbeez! And then we'll look at the Orbeez. Right? Oh, they're going everywhere. I'll move this, right? So there's our frozen Orbeez. Whoa. They actually weren't in there for that long, though. This, this, uh, this one looks cool. How Whoa, cold is it? it's really, it's like a slushy on the inside. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like frozen in the inside, too. <gasps> Look at this one! Oh, that one looks like it's been cut in half. Wait, so if I go like that, it's like frozen on the inside, too. What? Pretty this is neat. cool. Alright, so, so we learned a lot of things today about Orbeez, dry ice. Uh, how they make uh, smoke in movies. Uh, we learned about energy rods and conductors and glow in the dark and UV lights. What more could you learn? A lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. So what should they do now? Should they, they need to subscribe to our channel, right? And also follow us on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Happy TV. That's right. Okay, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.